Father, please wait, sir. Do you want me to walk with you for a little while? Why? Sometimes it helps. I mean, if you want to be alone, I understand that. How could God let Megan die, Andrew? Sarah, I, I don't have an easy answer to that. No, there are no answers at all, are there? When you lose somebody that you love, it's a test of faith. Oh, don't talk to me about faith. I would rather believe that there was no God than that. If there is a God, it could be this cruel. So what I'm saying is that, that, that it's difficult to know what his purpose is sometimes, that I don't have any answers. I've got as many questions as you do right now. Well, you take your questions and you go into the chapel. And you pray to him, and you see what kind of response you get, Andrew. You just look at the response I got. I pray to him every day for a year. I pray so hard. I know, and you were freed. I... Oh, what? What do I have left now, Andrew? No. God didn't respond to my prayers because God didn't hear them. And he didn't hear them because there's no one there to hear, Andrew. That is all a lie. insisted we go on this roller coaster. Right? He was there with the steepest or the fastest or the longest. I don't know, one of those. Anyway, he dragged me out there and I was scared and we got on it. We got halfway to the top and I was absolutely petrified. And then we got right to the top, you know, just before you take that awful drop. Do you know what he did? He stood up. He could be so foolish sometimes. He stood up and he said, Hey, world, see this woman? I love her. I love her. It was so romantic. I will never forget it. Never. <laughs> oh, Jake, your coming home has made all the difference. She's going to be just fine now, you'll see. It was a godsend that you got back. We're so lucky. <laughs> There's no reason to. You're the only one, Maggie. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't say that. There's no reason to say goodbye. take a sleigh ride and uh, it was freezing outside and you know I'd never seen a sleigh in Landview but he was so determined and you know Clint when he's determined he just do you remember the time 
No, that was before you came into our lives, isn't it? We lost so much time. And it's such a shame. Of the snow. Things aren't the way they used to be. What does it the French say? Oh, holy national top. Where are the snows of yesterday? Why does it make sense? What? Jesse, hide. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Well, I woke you up. No, I wasn't sleeping. Um, do you mind if I stay in here with you for a little bit? Sure, yeah. Come on in. <laughs> you can stay as long as you want. Okay. Take your slippers off, you. Backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards. What does that mean? Well, one, one minute I know they can die. Hmm? I can sort of see her in heaven. Mm hmm. And the next minute I feel like the whole thing. It can't be real. I guess everybody loves her so much. That really doesn't make sense, does it? No, it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense perfect sense. You know, when when we really love someone a lot, it's kind of hard to accept that they're not going to be around. You know, so we just just try and hang on to them for a while, you know? Are you doing the same thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. But how do you let go of I don't know. I mean, it just happens, you know. I mean, just little by little, you start to let go of them physically. You know, I mean, physically, but not... I don't know. You know what the really great thing is? The really great thing is that you never have to let go of them right here in your heart, you know? I love you, Tina. <laughs> 